We now have AI to do pretty much everything, right? How about we use AI to create high converting funnels that turns your visitors into customers? Well, if you're looking for a smarter way to collect leads, engage with your audience and boost conversions, then Involve.me is what you're looking for. It's a knockout platform that allows you to create interactive content like quizzes, forms, surveys, calculators, landing pages and pop-ups all with a simple drag and drop builder. Involve.me is designed for marketers, sales team and creators who want to create an interactive customer journey without writing a single line of code. You can add jump logics, custom outcomes, and even accept payments via the form using Involve.me. And my personal favorite feature has to be the ability to create a full-fledged funnel using AI by giving a simple text prompt. So you just go ahead and explain what kind of funnel you want to build, the details you want to collect and the outcome. And within seconds, Involve.me creates a funnel that you can then customize and publish. And today in this video, I'll show you how we can create a lead magnets funnel using AI right within Involve.me. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is Involve.me and this is the platform that I've been talking about. And the first thing that you're going to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to Involve.me. And this is their official website. And it says create high converting funnels that turn visitors into customers. And it says build interactive landing pages and website embeds to engage, qualify, convert leads all by drag and drop and chatting with AI, no coding or design skills needed. So if you are a marketer or if you are in the sales team and you want to create sales funnel that converts and if you don't know coding or you don't have any design skills, well, Involve.me got you covered and the AI integration is what I'm personally so excited about. So even if you don't know anything about designing a funnel or let's say anything as such, all you got to do is to explain all that to an AI and let the AI create the funnel for you. So as you can see, it says create with AI. So the first thing that you're going to do is to head over to Involve.me and sign up for a new account. And if you want to find more information, like all the different kind of funnels that you can create, what are the different content, what are the steps, you can just go ahead and scroll through the page. But in this case, I'll quickly go ahead and log into my account. So once you log in, this is going to be the kind of dashboard that you'll be taken to. And first of all, you need to create a workspace. So you can click on this plus button right here and create a workspace. So in this case, I have already created a workspace and I'm in that particular workspace now. And towards the top, you can find all these options like funnels, templates, analytics, integrations, A-B test, leads and all that. So in this video specifically, I'm interested in creating a lead magnet funnel. And to do so, all I gotta do is to click on this option that says create new funnel. And here you have three options. The first one is create with AI, which is what I'm personally so excited about. Then we have start from template and also an option called a start from scratch. So if you want to, let's say, build the entire funnel from scratch by building each and every block, all the forms, all the content that has to appear. You, if you want to do it manually, well, involve.me got you covered. You can start by clicking on this option right here. Or if you want to start from a template, you can click on this option called the start from template. So as soon as you click on that button, it will take you to a page where you can find all these templates like blank design, B2B lead magnet, B2C lead magnet, white paper download, price code generator, ROA calculator, career page, and you can also sort it by department, industry, funnel type, and all that. And now the interesting thing about this template section is that, for example, let's say you want to create an appointment funnel. So you can start by editing this one right here. So here we have one called as appointment funnel. And if I click on this preview button right here, I'll be able to see a preview of that particular funnel. So this is how it looks on the desktop. Okay. I can click on this button right here. It asks me for some details. I can continue. Okay. So this is how it is. And now you can also view the mobile view by moving over to this mobile tab. And now if you feel like the funnel that you want to create is somewhat similar to this funnel or let's say this funnel right here, you can actually click on this choose button right here and it will open up the editor. And now you can go ahead and start making changes to it. For example, you could change all these text in here, like the heading text, subline text and all that. You can change the color scheme, you can change the entire design, you can add new fields and you can configure pages, add new pages and do all that. But in this video, I'm specifically interested in creating a funnel using AI. So what I'll do is I'll click on this create new funnel option and this time around I'll click on this option called as create with AI. So I'll click on this one and now it says describe your funnel, explain your funnel's goal, intended use, target audience, data to collect and questions. So all you got to do is to explain what kind of funnel that you want to create, what is your goal, what should be the outcome and what are the details that you want to collect and just input all this content in here and click on this continue button right here. So this right here is the prompt I'll begin with and it says a leads magnet funnel to collect the name, email and work details from the user and then give them a link to collect a PDF resource. So basically I want to create a funnel where the user will fill in all these details like name, email, work details and all that. And after they fill all these details, they should be given the option to download a PDF file. 
I'll provide a link to the same. So that is basically how it works. And now I'll click on this continue button. So in your case, if it is something different, you can actually go ahead and explain all that. And now the more the details that you give, the better the funnel will be. And now it says style your funnel, input any website URL and let our AI apply its styling and design elements to your funnel. So if your business already have a website, all you gotta do is to input the website address in here and click on the generate button. And now the AI will fetch the logo, the design, the color themes, the font and all that and create a form that matches the color of or let's say the design of the website. So that is yet another interesting thing. And now it says your funnel is created. It says welcome to Astrid Joseph. So just for demo purpose, I just went ahead and entered my personal website URL and these all these content that you see in here is actually fetched from my content. So in your case, you have to go ahead and give your business uh, website link. So this right here is the website URL that I give astrogajoso.com and as you can see in the hero section itself, it says start a profitable blogging business in 2025 and all these details, right? Well, look at this. Unlock exclusive resources to boost your journey in blogging, digital marketing and entrepreneurship. So basically what happened is that as soon as I gave my website URL, the AI went through all the pages and then extracted all this content and then actually created the funnel to match the design and also the content of the website. Of course, you can edit it later. And now this right here is the initial version of the funnel that AI has created in just a single click. So I can use this button right here to move. So here we are asking for the name, then work email, job title or profession, main area of interest, contact details, and finally, okay, it's ready to download. Check your email for a link to access it. Now, if you want to, let's say, provide a download button in here, you can do that as well. And you can also customize the color style. Okay, we have a couple of styles in here. Uh, okay, I like this one the most. And you can also customize it such that we have multiple questions per page. Or let's say you only want one, you can set it that way as well. Okay, looks good. And now this is the initial version of the funnel that the AI has created. If you click on this edit this funnel button right here, you can now edit and make changes on top of this funnel that the AI has created. Or if you want to let's say give it a retry, you can click on this retry button right here. And now let's say, okay, if you want to, you can actually go ahead and edit the prompt and click on the generate button and get going from there. So it says at the end, we should show a download button to the user and I'll click generate, generate and let's see. Okay, now if I go all the way to the end, There you go. We have a download button. So if you want to make any changes using AI itself, you can click on this retry button. And next step, let's just go ahead and edit this funnel. And for that, I'll click on this edit this funnel option right here. And now it takes me to the involve.me editor. And now you can go ahead and customize all the aspects of the funnel that the AI has created for you. So basically the flow is that you go ahead and explain all the different forms or let's say input fields that you want within your funnel and then also the outcome and give all these details to the AI, including your website address. And now the AI creates an initial version. And if you're not happy with that, you can go ahead and give it a retry. And once you have like almost all part of that done, you can head over to the editor and start editing and making changes on top of it. And that's where we are right now. And now let's say I want to change this title right here. So I can click on that one and it says uh, heading text. And now I'll go ahead and let's say give it a different title. For example, let's say get free blogging resource. And now if you want to, let's say, I mean, you have the option to edit all these texts that appear in here. You can add conditional logics if you want to. And maybe let's say I want to change the color of this button. You have options for that. I'll select this button and move over to the design tab. And then I'll click on option called as customize this element only. And now I can change the background color like this. So if you want to make changes to this one element only, you can do it that way. And if you click on this button right here, it will apply all the design changes to all the buttons within this uh, form. So that is how it is. And if you want to, let's say, add a new element to this first page, well, you can do that. For example, let's say I want to, okay, it doesn't make sense to add anything in here, but let's go to the question number two section. That is the second page. And now it says, what is your full name? And it is a answer box, right? And now if you want to, let's say, change it to a text area input, you can do that. And now let's say I want to add a second input form in here. I'll just go ahead and add a multiple choice question. So I can simply drag and drop that in here. And now I'll go ahead and say, select your goal. And then if you want, you can put a description in here. And now if I scroll down here, I can find the answers. The first answer is going to be, let's say, increase traffic, learn more about blogging, learn SEO and ads, and let's say just browsing. 
okay i don't know if that makes sense but yeah the point here is that you can just go ahead and browse through all these elements in here and add the same to the page and now in this case if you go through this element section here we have a lot of these choices options like single choice multiple choice yes no multiple image choice drop down then we have ratings then we have short answer long answer auto complete even file upload we have contact info like email phone number country website then we have captcha signature that's interesting dates navigations headings images social links coupons then we have calculators ai generated text and a lot lot more and now let's say i want to design let's say question number two which is what is your email and now let's say i want to add a description in here i can input a text in here and i'll go ahead and say enter your work email only so you can put a description in here i mean the whole point is that you can go ahead and make changes to all the elements within the form and now if i want to add let's say a new form in between or let's say a new page i can click on this plus button right here and add a new form and in this case let's simply add a rating star so give you a rating below or maybe i want it to appear let's say just before the download page so i can drop it in here okay that looks good give you a rating below okay oh we already had a rating page in here so it does not make any sense maybe we can let's say add something else in here for example let's say a coupon code interesting one so i'll put that in here and now i'll put okay it seems like we need to add a coupon first and then give it in here okay let's create a coupon list so i'll create a new coupon internal name let's say free and then coupon platform let's say other or let's say manual coupon type single coupon code let's say this is the random coupon code limit is going to be let's say five and i'll create the new i'll create the coupon code and here we have it now i can head back and now i'll try to add the same again so where is it coupon and now i can select it in here okay free and there you go we'll now show the coupon in here okay so that part is also done and next up i'll go ahead and let's say add a button to move to the next page so i'll click on yeah it should lead to the next page and now i'll say finish okay that should be it and now towards the end we also have a form collecting all the details at once so i don't really think we need this so i can maybe delete that because we are already collecting all these details from all these pages in here and now it after completing all these forms the user will be redirected to the thank you page and this is how it looks so it says thank you for connecting with astrogy joseph click the button below to download your pdf resource and here we have a download button and you can just go ahead and put a url in here i'll select url new tab and then put the address in here and that should be it and now just like that we went ahead and created a new funnel so this is like a basic funnel but the point is you can go ahead and customize it whatever way you want to and you can even completely revamp the design if you want to so here we have a lot of these themes okay if you want to try it out you can actually do that but for this one ah, i like this one so maybe i'll try it override current theme okay just like that i was able to change the theme so initially the ai figured out the theme from our website and used it but if you want to change the design themes whatever that be involve.me gives you the option for the same and now what i'll do is i'll click on this publish button and you can either test the funnel or publish the same and next up you can go ahead and configure the funnel name the funnel domain url language if you want to receive email notification for every submission you can enable that in here and you can also send custom emails for people who actually filled the form as well so access to your funnel personal data okay social media tracking links so you can put your tracking details in here i'll just keep it as it is but in your case if you want to customize any of these you can do that and i'll click on this publish button right here there you go i'll click on publish now and just like that we have our funnel ready and now i can simply copy this url and share it with anyone or even embed the same into one of my website so as you can see it says embed as a website widget standard full page pop-up site tab you can just go ahead and embed it if you want to so that's also an interesting option so if you were to let's say embed within a page this is how it will look and if you want to let's say embed it as a full page like directly as a page like a full page within your website you have options for that you can embed it as a pop-up okay that makes sense side okay chat button that's going to be an interesting one and now if i head over to this url right here i'll be able to see the funnel that i created just now i'll click on get started what is your full name i'll put it as astro k joseph uh increase traffic click next email address i'll just put my email address in here click on next 
what industry let's say tech uh, current role i'll say small business click on next uh, blogging and digital marketing click on next current knowledge <laughs> it doesn't really make any sense we could have used instead of star we could have used something else but let's say four click on next there you go so we actually went ahead and configured a coupon code and that is being displayed in here so i can copy that by clicking on it and now I'll click on finish and there you go thank you for connecting and here you have the resource ready and now as soon as you click on this download your resource button it takes me to a page where i can view the pdf file and that's how simple it is right so just like that we actually captured all these details and now if i head back and click on this response option and click on response summary i'll be able to find details of all the leads so it says two visits and completed submission is one and you can find all these details in here okay so you have detailed metrics then we have the response so you can find all the data that the person has filled including their name so whatever details that the user inputted in here same is captured and you can access it in here and now if you want to you can actually go ahead and connect it with some other tools for example let's say you want to send an automated email or if you want to let's say create some automation based on the details that you get you can connect and integrate with any third party tools like active campaign airtable kit then we have get response hubspot mailchimp notion so that is also one more option so you start by creating a funnel within involve and you can then connect and trigger other options to happen when the user completes you know filling the form maybe you want to store the details into an air table or let's say you want to send let's say an email using mailchimp or let's say kit you have options for that so basically this is the flow of creating a lead magnets funnel using ai right within involve.me so all you gotta do is to explain exactly what kind of funnel you want to create and let the ai do its magic and now just as to show you how good the AI is when it comes to picking up the uh, you know design and all that kind of stuff from a third party website or your business website. I just went ahead and created one. I guess this is the one. So let me open it up. So this right here is a sample funnel that I created and in the area to input the URL I just went ahead and gave the HubSpot link and now look at this. The AI has actually picked up the primary color and the logo from the HubSpot website and included the same in here and the overall theme matches the color of HubSpot right. So you just go ahead and input let's say uh, your website URL like your business website URL and now the AI will get all the font the theme options and everything else and design the page like that. So that is also one more cool thing and if you don't want AI to create but if you want to start from a template you can click on this option called the start from template and then you can browse through the template and create a funnel like this. You have well over 16 pages of templates to choose from and I'm pretty sure you'll find a good one from here. For example let's say price code generator so let me preview it okay middle three to ten pages okay you can actually take it as a base and then you can sort of start customizing it and editing on top of this one and in this video i actually shown you how you can create a leads magnet you know kind of a funnel but if you want to let's say create a quizzes or let's say some calculators whatever that be involve.me got you covered so this is basically how simple it is to create a funnel using ai so all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below head over to involve.me sign up for a new account and you can then start creating all these funnels using ai without writing a single line of code and no you don't need any designing skills and you can then share it or let's say embed the same into your website and get going so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one